arrow function is a way to define JavaScript function. In other words, we can write JavaScript functions in simple and easy way. This is very useful feature of JavaScript when we are working in advanced topics. So here we have this function which basically console this hello javascript world. Here we define this function with function keyword. Now let's see how to create the same function using arrow function. So for defining arrow function, first of all we have to use let or const. But in most cases we use const because we don't want to reassign that function. Now here we write our function name, let's say greet, equals to, now we use parenthesis for function. And then we use equal and greater than which build this arrow. And then we add curly brackets for adding code block for this function. So inside this we write console.log hello javascript world. Now let's call this function here, we can call arrow function by its name. Save this and see, we get the same result. So these both functions are same. This arrow function syntax will help us for advanced JavaScript. Let me show you my trick for remember the syntax of this arrow function when I start learning JavaScript. So we have our function say hello. Now remove this function keyword and place const. Then in between function name and parenthesis, we add equals to. And between this parenthesis and curly brackets, we add arrow. Simple as that. Now if in arrow function, we have only one line, then we can remove this curly brackets. So let's remove this, save this and see how simple and easy to define function. Now can you guess, how can we add arguments in arrow function? Right. It's the same way we pass in normal function. So we add here language and here we display this language parameter. Now when we call this function, we pass here let's say HTML. Save this and see, we get hello HTML world. Here if we have only one parameter, then we can also remove this parenthesis. But as a good practice, I always add parenthesis. Now here we can also define the default value. So write language equals to javascript. So if we don't pass the argument, this will by default use javascript. Save the changes and take a look. See, we get hello javascript world. So here are some examples of arrow function. You can see all these examples in the cheat sheet. Download it from the description box. See you in the next tutorial, goodbye.